Hey, hi there, Libra. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I'd like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekly reading, December 15th to the 21st of 2019. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. These are general meanings. Okay, Libra, off camera, I've performed a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the basis and the issue of the matter. This is the situation at hand. Number four of the Major Arcana and the Rider Waite deck, the Emperor. This can be an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus. Somewhere Aries is prominent in your chart, or it could be someone else's chart that you're dealing with, or it could be the uh, energy of control and authority and leadership. This is a divine masculine card. This stands for the domination of the material world, for authority, paternity, and the regulation of life by law, order, and structure, and stability. This card reminds us that flesh is not the enemy of the spirit, but its vehicle, and spirit is not the enemy of the flesh, but its driving force. This could have to do with paternal issues, stability, vision, leadership, mental activity, and domination. This can be someone who is proud and rather intimidating. They may be hard to please because they have the highest standards. They are very confident. And you may have heard him say, been there, done that. This person just exudes respect. This can be controlled and directed attention or drive. It's exercising power wisely with structure and control, authority, laws, and rules, which can become repressive. This is someone powerful. He rules, and you may feel under their influence. This is love through healthy boundaries with stability and power and protection, realization. This is a great person. They have supreme authority and worldly power. They're a beneficent ruler and they will fight for what is right and what is their duty to protect. This can be a father figure, someone giving fatherly advice. They're a sol solid leader, a natural born leader, and they have the right to rule. So look for issues related to authority. This is a protective male force, especially of the home and of domestic harmony. Your second card, and this is the energy that is crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. The Three of Pentacles, Libra, Earth Energy. This is a lucky card. It has to do with a lucky project. It's a, a lucky omen. It's support from teamwork. This has to do with employment and synergy. It could be someone's Mars and Capricorn. This is people that are coming together to make something happen. A foundation being set and the early stages of progress. It could be a project is now beginning manifestation, and it's using your knowledge to turn a profit. This is a partnership card. You're building something together. Teamwork, assistance, contribution, guidance, planning. There's mentors and critics around you. It's okay to take critics as teachers and not take anything personally. They really are helping you grow. Priorities are being established and plans are being put into action, and you have initial success. This is being cooperative and inspired by a skilled team effort. You're discussing efforts and plans and practical solutions. You're apprenticing or building a foundation. There's a quality of workmanship here. It's using high standards and asking for opinions. This is recognition for work well done. The Emperor with the Three of Pentacles, this can be uh, representing a business loan or someone asked to borrow money, can represent a stable job, also a strong team, and maybe a clash of personalities. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences. Seven of Swords, Libra. This represents someone's moon in Aquarius. This is air energy. This has to do with using evasive tactics. There's strategy and deception involved. 
maybe someone being sneaky or secretive. There could be mind games, deceit and lies involved. There will be a need to avoid a confrontation in order to reach the right decision about someone or something. It could be stealing ideas or stealth over the internet and researching. Stealing peace of mind. It's always someone looking for something and not knowing where to look. It's having the courage of your dreams and the strength to face unsolved puzzles of your life. It's tiptoeing around, maybe someone running from the truth. Someone may be gathering information about competitors, or plotting, or planning. They may be facing mental tests. Someone may have broken an agreement. It's doing what serves your own ends, even if the means are deceptive or manipulative. Someone may have stolen something or stolen from you. It could be sneaking around behind someone else's back. Someone not being up front. Maybe playing hooky to steal some time for yourself. You might be plagued by guilt. But there is some time to correct the situation. It's concealing true feelings and wants and intentions and taking the right steps with care. It's being acutely aware of your current situation. You may be keeping information to yourself could be getting what you want in a clever or sneaky way and feeling uneasy about it. Or you're not looking where you're going. The Emperor with the Seven of Swords. This is refusing to resort to underhanded or manipulative tactics to get your way. You use your words and clout and power or authority to get your way. And now your fourth card. It's the position of the future. The results the outcome and the resolution. And being in the future position, this can be a surprise. The Knight of Wands, Libra, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, second reference to Aries here. Could also be a Leo. This is a change of resonance. It's a message with action. The movement is quick. It could be a, a journey, a travel, it could be an adventure. Someone might be impatient. This could be travel to fun places. This can be a generous friend or lover, but they're also very impatient and hasty in everything they do. Managing their money may be a challenge. This can also mean a change of residence, immigration, or a quick departure. The nights in a spread can also mean the coming or going of a matter. Knights are younger in spirit, if not aged, than the king or queens, and less established in life. They can be impulsive and very passionate. They're very eager and full of self-confidence, yet they do not always know where they're going, and without those concrete plans, they can burn out before they achieve their goals. This is someone raring to go. This can be a kickstart that spurs you on. They're always on a passionate mission, and they're in and out of the scene. Action is involved. This is being poised for action or pursuing. It could be a message. It could be uh, about travel or work or social activities. This person can be trusted and they're faithful. They're a defender and they cannot resist a damsel in distress. The Emperor with the Knight of Wands. This is restrained passion. It's controlling impulses to be a playboy. It's a hasty pursuit romantically with a high chance of success. But if a controlling element comes in, it leads to problems. Realistic planning is needed. And now your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. Number 19 of the Major Arcana. The Sun. Another card that rep represents Aries, as well as Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. This is attainment, liberation, it's fulfillment, brings enthusiasm and optimism and clarity. This is a yes card. It's happiness and success for the future, esteem and honor, material happiness, attainment, a good marriage. It's happy reunions and pleasures in the simple life. It's letting your light shine with contentment and joy and freedom and a sense of rebirth and simplicity. 
This is optimism and excitement and fresh opportunities. Fears and mysteries vanish. Everything becomes simple with this card, sometimes too simple. And now a cycle can begin anew, and good things can come into your life. This card brings in achievement. It brightens any negative cards in a spread. It's new beginnings, and nothing can hold you back except yourself. It's all system's goal. And this card reveals everything, and you'll benefit by sharing your true feelings. Now the hard work is behind you, and all is going right with you. You're being warm and optimistic and joyful, fortunate, charismatic, magnanimous, healthy, outgoing, and playful. This is a confident leader. You're seeing the good in others and letting your light shine. You're looking on the bright side and expressing your inner child. So do what makes you feel excited and warm inside. The Emperor with the Sun card, this can represent a fondness for heights, both physical and spiritual. This can be a magnanimous, powerful person who is trustworthy. So go forward fearlessly. Loving intentions ensure your success. The Three of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords, this is handling a work situation carefully. It can be unconventional thinking related to work. Three of Pentacles with the Nice of Wands, this is a need to plan and evaluate carefully before jumping in. The Three of Pentacles with the Sun card, your innate talents come forward and you have success and personal fulfillment. You have a right to feel secure on your path and maintain faith in yourself. This can also be a profitable idea. Seven of Swords with the Knight of Wands can represent manipulating others. It's breaking free by, by maybe uh, manipulating communication. Seven of Swords with the Sun card. This is what was hidden comes to light. It's being self-reliant or self-employed. You'll need to look closer and plan accordingly. Could be carelessness due to overconfidence. Then the uh, Knight of Wands with the Sun card. It's travel, travel to a warmer place. It can be a happy career change. I started a new oracle deck. It's called Numerology by Michelle Buchanan. Numerology. And here's your, your card. Number 67, representing physical activity. Physical activity, Libra. This card, this card indicates a need for exercise, which reduces stress hormones and releases feel-good endorphins in the brain, creating an overall sense of well-being, self-confidence, and peace. Because you attract what you feel, then you consistently feel good. You invite blessings into your life. Regular physical activity can better your life in a variety of ways. It can enhance your physical and psychological well-being and reduce the risk of obesity and other conditions. When it comes to manifestation, exercise increases the energy flow throughout your body, which helps release toxins and negative emotions. This in turn raises your overall vibration and enhances your connection to source. In order to improve your current situation, you are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythms and cycles of your life, cycles that are encouraging you to exercise your body. Whether you walk, run, swim, cycle, dance, kickbox, climb stairs, attend Pilates or yoga, or play a sport such as basketball, tennis, or golf, being physically active will, will, will help you feel good about yourself. There's an affirmation with this card, and it says... I exercise my body and improve my quality of life. Good advice for all of us. Thanks a lot, Libra. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up. And please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.